Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, ScooterATVSales.com, Scooter City ATV Outlet. Today we're going to do a how-to video, how to start the Tau Tau Kids Youth ATVs. So we're going to go through a step-by-step -step procedure on how to properly start the vehicle as well as how to start it when the vehicle is cold. So we have Adam, he's going to help us out with this. He has, uh, I'm going to point out the ignition key. First of all, so here's the ignition keys. You got two sets of them. You put the ignition key in the ignition, turn it on. You should see a blue indicator light. Okay, if not, then you got to switch into uh, neutral. Okay, so that display shows either you're in drive or reverse or neutral, correct? And right now it's, it's showing in neutral. And then basically what you do is you either pull the brake or pull the brake a little bit and then push down the uh, parking brake feature. Okay. And then if your kids are not strong enough to hold that to start it, they can always push the foot brake, which the is right The foot brake's located on uh, the right side of the ATV. So either you press the foot brake or you pull in the handbrake or you can set the parking brake feature as well to hold the vehicle in place. Then uh, you would also make sure that the lanyard is plugged in properly. Then you have an on and off switch over here, so this would have to be on on. Now you're ready to start it by pushing the start button on the left handle right here. This would be the uh, start button, which is the small red button here on the uh, starter assembly. So again, you would place the keys into the ignition, turn it on. Either you step on the foot brake or you pull the handbrake. You can set the handbrake as well. Make sure that the lanyard is in position, properly plugged in. The switch is on. Now you're ready to start it by pushing the uh, on button here on the left uh, handlebar. So that is the step-by-step -step procedure on how to properly start the vehicle under normal conditions. Now, when it is cold out and the vehicle's been out for a cold start, all Tau Tau vehicles have a choke lever on the carburetor on the left side. As you can see it, up. When it's up, then the uh, choke is on, and then when it's on the down position, the choke is off. So for cold starts, you're gonna raise it up. So we'll raise it up right now. All right, you'll start the vehicle. Now once it reaches, once it reaches a steady idle, then you slowly bring the uh, lever down on the carburetor. Again, it's located on the left side. Also, Tau Tau has a petcock or fuel switch which is located on the left side as well same side where the uh, choke lever is located so right now it's on the on position and now uh, Adam will turn it on the off position so that is the actual off position right now so if you're moving the vehicle about transporting it this is the way you you want to turn it off now to make sure that you always turn it on we'll turn it back on now we got fuel passing through the fuel lines going to the carburetor. So always make sure that this switch is on. So if you're having problems starting it as well, always check your fuel switch, making sure that it's on, on position. So this is the step-by-step -step procedure on how to properly start your Tau Tau vehicle. Again, hopefully this helps you out. If you have any questions, just give us a call at 775-856-3398. Or you wanna shop online for these vehicles, you can go to Scooter ATV Sales com. We are located here in Reno, Nevada at 920 Matney Lane, number 6. Number here is 775-856-3398. We'll see you guys soon. Thank you.